you know, hanging in there. Yeah, it's so fun. You know, so rock stars much needed. <laughs> I got two yesterday, so that ought to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. All right, thanks, have a good one. See ya. Today is Friday and I am super duper excited about that. Not that like I am in any way getting a break anytime soon, but it's nice to at least uh, for the next few days only have to worry about one job. That's cool. And it's something I love doing, so it'll definitely be nice. I just have to say this combination that, can you see, focus, focus. The camera is focusing on my face. I'll put it here. Here we go. Hello. Um, this combination that I made for my yogurt, I tried it one day because I bought mangoes and I bought strawberries. And I tried it in my yogurt. And honestly, it is my favorite combination um, for like a fruit and yogurt bowl. I didn't put granola in it because honestly, like, I don't really need the granola if I'm being honest. So that's breakfast and uh, to human being again today because I'm just, yeah, it's just, you know, a day where I'm getting through it. Thankfully today is going to be basically work days for all of my classes. That's one thing that I learned last year is that I don't have to teach every single day. I can do other things. Uh, documentaries, I show a lot of documentaries, especially in my global studies class, but for just in general, like when I give them assignments and stuff, I really try to give them an opportunity to work on those assignments in class because I know a lot of them, one, either don't have the resources, especially since they, like everyone turned Chromebooks in before spring break and you know, home life's not, they might not be the best. So working on homework is probably not ideal. There's just a whole lot of things. And I really try to remove those barriers. Granted, I still have, I still have a whole bunch of kids that don't turn in work, but that's a separate problem. But anyway, so they're gonna be working on different assignments today. And yeah, so that'll give me time to grade and get caught up and stuff. I'll be able to catch up on my Bible study because I literally have not done it since Tuesday. It's been that kind of a week where I've just been busy. I taught all six classes yesterday, so I didn't have time, really. I'm feeling really springy and really happy. Today is actually, it's been a really good day. I don't know, something about last night, you know, like as I was cooking my dinner and cleaning the kitchen and like every, like I just, it's, just sound, it's gonna sound so stupid, but bear with me. I actually feel like for the first time since I moved out almost a year ago, I feel like an actual adult that is like on my own and living on my own. And that's a lot for me because the last, year really sort of year but you know a good chunk of 2022 i was basically just in survival mode i was dealing with a lot of uh, on and off depression a lot of on and off anxiety the last few days especially you know i really just felt good about myself and i really just feel like i'm kind of coming into my own as an adult and i think that's great I'm, I'm super stoked about that. I don't know, it might just be a weird thing that I'm feeling right now, but I had to share. So anyways, I'm gonna finish breakfast and get ready for my day. It's gonna be a great day. a minute to have a break this today has been it's been crazy it's literally been like one thing after another i thought it was going to be a pretty chill day and it ended up being super busy like 
I was working on grading and then in the process of different things I had like a whole other list of things that got uncovered that I needed to do. It's been a busy day like it feels like I've been working non-stop. For that very abrupt ending in that clip i was talking away in the bathroom and then all of a sudden the door was like gonna open i draw the line at people coming in and seeing me talk in person i just draw the line there so <laughs> i'm home as you can see and good friday service went well it was actually really it went really well the drama was really good it was super powerful and everything just went really well so super happy about that Tomorrow is dress rehearsal for Easter Sunday. We're doing an egg hunt in the morning, which I think my nephew is going to be there. So you might get to see some of him. He's super adorable. Honestly, like, <laughs> it's so interesting just how like, he's just turned into such a little person and he's got a cute and adorable personality and I just absolutely love him to death. So I'm super excited. I think he's gonna be there unless they change their mind. But whatever the case may be, I will be there at nine o'clock in the morning and I'm going to drag my butt to the gym and go before I have to head to church because I did not go Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I went Monday and I went Tuesday. And that's about it. But, you know, I've been eating relatively okay. You know, it, it, like I've said, this week is all about survival and getting through it. And we're just going to get through it. So I'm going to eat the rest of my Panera sandwich that I got. I'll probably eat a brownie because it's that time where chocolate is just, it just, it's so good. Watch some Designated Survivor because that's the latest fixation I've been on lately. And just hang out and chill because the next two days are gonna be crazy and intense, but also at the same time, I kind of love it. It's, it's like I put myself through this, but at the same time, I love it. It reminds me of my old theater days where there was hell week and we were just constantly rehearsing. So thanks for watching. This vlog has been, I mean, kind of like all the other ones, but very much less me talking, which maybe you preferred, who knows? But it's been a great day. It, it's actually been a phenomenal day. I, yeah, I had a great day, even though it was really busy and it was really hectic. It's been amazing. I, over the last few days, got to reconnect with a, a friend of mine from high school, uh, which I don't really talk to a lot of people that I went to high school with and I haven't talked to this person in a while not for any particular reason I'm just I'm really bad sometimes at keeping up with friends but this one person like she's been there through a whole lot of stuff we had all our lovely drama back in middle school and high school but she's always stuck by me and so we've been able to reconnect I might try and go see her this summer I've just got so much to be happy about so much to be thankful for and it's kind of interesting, like I'm looking at myself in the camera and I I haven't seen myself smile like this in a long time, um, except for when I'm around my nephew because, I mean, come on. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing because <sighs> I'm not necessarily over the situation that's had me like upset and everything, but... I can see, I can see the light forward. I can see a path forward and I can see myself healing. And I'm just super thankful and grateful for that. So uh, with that, before I get emotional and like start crying, <laughs> have a great evening, night, day, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Like, you know, I honestly think I might make this a regular thing. It's been super fun and I just love it. You know, like I said yesterday, this really just is how I can connect with myself again. 
and it's been an absolute amazing experience. So subscribe, follow along. So that way you don't miss out on this just amazingness that is me healing from all of my trauma. <laughs> Bye.